Yo, so what is up guys? It's JJ2K and in today's video y'all, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this 99 overall player within 30 minutes of playing the game. Yes, this is not clickbait. In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining everything. So make sure to watch the entire video through, bro. The first thing I wanna say, you guys need to be a starter in the NBA for this to work. Now this is gonna assume you guys are already upgraded as a player. So at that point, if you guys have an upgraded player, you guys are set to go. So before we do hop into it, like I said, make Make sure to watch the entire video through or you're probably gonna mess something up but without further ado though bro can we hit 500 likes on today's video that is the only thing i'm gonna ask the only reason being that is the easiest way to show support it's free and it's quick and easy bro just one tap on that like button low-key makes my day 10 times better so after we do this we're gonna want to hop straight into our my career now you guys are gonna see obviously like i said currently i am a 99 overall now i'm not a current 99.9 .9 for the simple fact that i wanted to show you guys how to do it in today's video so like i said as long as you guys are a starter we're gonna need to be a 95 overall to do this okay so now that we're on our 95 overall player the very first thing we're gonna want to do is hop into our options main menu now listen to me whenever i say this you guys need to put this on pro difficulty the quarter length really doesn't matter but i'm gonna recommend 12 minutes in order to do this as quick as possible now do not worry we're not gonna be playing a full my career game we're gonna be taking advantage of this very odd glitch it's gonna allow us to get 99 overall within like a span of like i said maximum 30 minutes so it's not gonna matter whether you guys are in the playoffs or not regardless we're just gonna want to hop into a game now i'm not gonna skip through anything just to prove it's legit because this could be you know misconstrued as like a fake video i'm not gonna lie the very first time that i did this i was low-key really confused but don't worry i'm gonna make sure to explain everything in today's video so as long as you guys pay attention you guys will understand everything that i will be explaining and then from there you guys are gonna be a 99 in no time now like i said once you get to 99 it's gonna take a bit longer doing this getting from 99 to 99.9 .9. but all this is gonna do it's gonna take less than one quarter of your guys's time i'm gonna say five minutes maximum of your guys's time depending on what your guys' archetype is now for my case it is the easiest thing to do with uh with a sharpshooter so for example i'm using my pure sharp which i have a 99.3 as it is so all we're going to want to do is to get our takeover so getting your takeover is going to be relatively easy if you guys are a shooting archetype but just do whatever it takes in order to get your takeover so for me it's just going to be simple as just running down the court and then taking three point shots if you guys are a slasher just catch alley oops if you guys are a playmaking archetype just catch lobs or do flashy passes and then defense it's like blocks steals anything that's going to get you guys on the takeover board so you guys are going to witness in real time seeing me do this as quick as possible now again i've gotten really good at this but also not now but it's going to be a live recording i'm probably going to end up messing it up low-key but hey listen i'm going to try to do this as fast as possible just to prove my point this is going to take under 30 minutes so like i said for the shooting archetypes it's going to be as simple as getting the ball off jump and then what you guys are going to want to do for at least shooting archetypes in order to create space you guys are going to want to back up, pump fake, and then this is going to get the defender to bite whenever he does that. And since you guys are on pro difficulty, it is as simple as pulling up, and you guys are going to see how quick I green my shots. Now, just know you guys are going to need to score at least 15 points as well to make this get you a 99.9. .9. It does not matter if you guys miss shots. I've done this enough to know that. The lowest possible rating you guys can get from doing this is 99.2, but nonetheless, it is going to get you guys to a 99 overall, so just know that. Now, like I said, the quicker we do this, the quicker it's going to be. After missing that shot, I, I realized I needed to put on my shot meter because low-key, I never take off my shot meter, but unfortunately, it was off for some weird reason. But regardless, we're going to let them score again. Defense does not matter getting your guys' take. It is as simple as scoring your 15 points, going down the court, grabbing your guys' takeover, and then fouling out. From there, it's going to be very simple. Like I said, we're just going to pull up. And as long as you guys have a relatively decent shot being a shooting archetype, you should make every single shot. We're just going to ignore the fact that I missed the shot, though. So, so as you guys are going to see, steals are that easy as well. On pro difficulty, it is that simple. Again, I mistimed my jump shot so bad, but it doesn't even matter. It's literally this easy. Now that we are two scores away, it's going to be very simple to get this take. And once you guys do get your takeover, listen. You guys are going to need to grab fouls as soon as possible to make this work. If it goes into the second quarter, it still will work, but it's going to waste a lot more of you guys' time than if you guys would just grab them in the first quarter and then go from there. So what I'm going to suggest, like I said, assuming you guys are just about to get your takeover, you guys are going to want to grab your fouls after you get your take, because if you wait a decent amount of time into the first quarter, we can grab five fouls without going into the bonus, and that is clutch. 
as you guys are going to see here, we're going to hit this. Now from here, like I said, I am one three-pointer away from getting it. Once you guys do hit 15 points, like I've been saying, you guys are going to be able to get your takeover. 15 points is the baseline to get your takeover in NBA 2K21, if you guys didn't know, points-wise at least. So once they do score... Okay, so you guys are going to need to take my advice. I waited a little bit longer than I should have, and I lost my takeover just a tad bit. So just know, if you guys get too many leave assignments before you get your takeover, there is a possibility you could lose it. But don't worry, it's not going to hinder anything. The only thing it's going to hinder is just you getting your takeover as a whole. So I'm about to run down the court, splash a three. And then from there, you guys are going to see that I finally have my takeover. Great, we are like five minutes into this gameplay and I already have my takeover. Now, this is the easiest part of this glitch. We're just going to run down the court and collect fouls as quick as possible to get this glitch done as soon as possible. Like I said, this takes around eight to ten games, depending on how quick you guys can do this. Now, you get about like 0.4 to 0.6 to your overall every time you do this a game up until you guys get to 98 overall. So, it's going to take two games to climb to 98 overall per overall. So it's going to take two games per overall in order to uh, rank up. So from 95 to 96, it takes two games. From 96 to 97, it takes two more games. And then from 97 to 98, it takes another two games. So that's six games to get to 98. And then it takes around four games to get to 99. So in total, we're looking at around 10 games at like, I would say, three to five minutes depending on how long it takes if you guys score with the most and utmost efficiency as i didn't i missed two shots accidentally but you guys get my point regardless we are going to collect our fifth foul now y'all are going to go to the bonus from here we're just going to want to grab our sixth foul and then it's as easy as that you guys can keep repeating it and it's really that simple there's not much really more complicated than that, which is really sad that it's this easy to get to 99 in this game. It's just another stupid thing that's really broken this game. But regardless, that's basically the gist of the method and the glitch. Um, it's also really like a big fan farm as well. Like I've gotten tons of fans doing this because as long as you guys are on a shooting archetype, y'all collect fans like no one's business. I'm not even going to cap to you. But regardless, once you guys do get subbed out, it's going to put you guys into halftime, obviously. And then from there, once the game is over, y'all will see what we get rewarded with. Now, hopefully I got a 99.9, .9, but my luck, since this is a live recording, I'm probably going to get like a 99.2. But regardless of whatever I get, just follow these steps. Make sure to minimize your guys' errors and y'all are going to be completely fine getting a high enough overall grade to get repped up to a 99. Now, like I said, we're about to see what I get. I'm just going to assume I'm going to get a 99 plus. I wouldn't doubt it. So now that the game is over, it's time to finally find out what we're going to get rewarded with. And y'all are going to see, we got rewarded with a 99.1. Now this makes a lot of sense considering I missed two shots and I think I had a turnover. But regardless, y'all are going to see that I'm at a 99.0. Now y'all just need to keep repeating this process in order to ensure that we get a 99 rating. It is that simple. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and as well as subscribe for future content. But it's been your boy JJ2K. I am out. Peace.